everyone and welcome back to Geek Bros Inc. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some of the Lightning Collection figures that we just recently got and also it looks like we got some new boxes for those figures as well. Yeah, it's Boxing Day. It's Boxing Day. Got all of these on the same day. Is that what the British mean by Boxing Day? No, Boxing Day for the British is something else. It's when their servants were able to open up boxes. Okay, so it has nothing to do with Rocky Balboa then? It has nothing to do with Rocky Balboa. That's so boring. I know. <laughs> well, we got five new ones that came in. We got Snizzard, the Time Force Blue Ranger, Ryu or Ryu, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Damon and Kira. So what should we open first? Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with Kira. Let's start with Ryu. So there he is. The new boxes that they're coming out with, with all that new box art, and then all the things that he comes with on the back. So what about what do you think about these new boxes versus these boxes? Um, you know I do like the the old boxes because you can see the figure and the art's nice, but also with the new boxes you have a little bit more room for for the art because it's not just the figure it's. It's... It's you get to see them in their poses and everything. Mm-hmm. As opposed to, you know, you just see the figure. Mm -hmm. I know this is their way to not do plastic, but, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. <laughs> well, it still does have art, but it's more like 3D, you know, kind of like computer art, per se. Yeah. 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 I guess, you know. So, do you know why the Street Fighter crossover? Comic. Comic? Comic. Comic. That That's your answer? Comics? Yes. Uh, that would be wrong. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's like 90% true. <clears throat> so, you have another guess? In a video game. Uh, Street sorta. Fighter is a video game. Street Fighter is a video game. Is he more than, is Street Fighter more than a video game? Well, you know the Legacy Wars game for the mobile? Yes. It's from there? Yeah. <laughs> So what happened was is that when they were doing a promo for it, uh, they got together with the people from Bat in the Sun. Um, they had the girl, uh, what's her name, Ciara, I think, Ciara something, it was Megaforce Yellow, and uh, the guy who played Ryu uh, in the Bat in the Sun uh, Superpower Beatdown with uh, JDF. When he was fighting them as a Green Ranger, they had him come over. And uh, they had uh, one other Street Fighter girl and some other people. So uh, in the game, it's just like a versus game and you can play against other players. And you have um, different skins for there for different characters. So uh, this is one of them that they made for the short. It was like a seven, ten minute short where it's like, hey, Rita cast a spell and now Rangers are turning evil. That's bad. And Ninjor has been captured and hurt, so let's go rescue him. And then Tommy gave him a power coin, which was the... Crimson Hawk mm. power coin then he morphed into this so they decided to make a figure for that which is pretty cool looking mm -hmm. albeit overcharged for 
what it comes with. I mean, this is really no different than like a standard Ranger because it comes with the figure and accessories and blast effects. I mean, there's no, you know, special region reason for this to be as overcharged as it was. It's Hasbro. Yeah. Well, at least I got free shipping. That's true. <clears throat> and then after this one, they decided to make three more. So those are coming out probably next year sometime. So let's take a look at this. So they've all been doing this... Um, uh, this this new kind of baggy in there instead of just having them in and um, in the other ones it would be just kind of like fastened into the plastic but this is cardboard and not with a paper bag and uh, some of the other ones are like this kind of plastic bag but looks like this one is a little bit different and if you can see right there it says Street it's Fighter. Street Fighter right there. Yeah. So let's take a look at the figure. So this is what it looks like fresh out of the bag. So let's turn these feet so he looks normal. So, what what do we think about this figure? I don't know. As, as I don't know too much about Street Fighter, I can't really say on that. Um, but well, they said in the short that um, this one was the last power coin that Ninjor ever made before he was captured and everything. But obviously he made more for the Street Fighter people because of the crossover... The Rangers, the Evil Rangers are fighting the Street Fighter characters, so four of them got power coins eventually <laughs> to help, you know, because it's just pretty much just Tommy and like maybe like three other people and Ninjor. Hmm. And Ninjor was super injured about it, so, you know. So what do you think compared to the picture? It looks decent? It looks decent. I just wish the, um... See. And you can you can see the emblem there on the morpher, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I and wish the uh... these on the back had those. Yeah. Looks like they're poseable. Yeah, because it goes up and down, so you can do this because they're pose. Yeah, it's poseable on the back there. Okay. <clears throat> and then looks like everything else pretty much moves the way it's supposed to legs arms torso yep I just kind of wish the um shield was a little bit more gold but because it's kind of gold in the packaging it's kind of yellow actually on him um yeah, it looks like this is a little bit darker. This one's a little bit brighter as far as the color goes. A little hmm. bit. They're really in there, aren't they? Yeah, it's because this was in there wide, so it mm -hmm. made everything else hard to get out. And two hands. You got two extra hands. 
two fists for him. So this would go into the stand and then on the back, see it has the different blast effects. So you can put this one. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's got like a, a hole there, but you really have to like Oops. push it in there. And then it would kind of like stand. Sort of, if this will stay where it's supposed to be. And then he does that thing where he powers up and puts his hands together and then shoots out a blast effect. So it'd just be like this and be like, so okay. Like that. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. And then it looks like this one, the uh, the Crimson Hawk would uh, fit on there too, probably. Um, I'm not really seeing like an indent in here for it to, right there it is, it's on this side. There, so it goes sideways. So he can stand there and do the same thing like that. Mm -hmm. So this is having a hard time just staying in there. So what do we think about the Ryu Ryu Crimson Hawk Ranger? I think he looks good. It's a good crossover for um, what they're doing. <clears throat> I know they like to do some crossovers, which... Yeah, they had the Turtles crossover. Which we did a nice review on that as well. Yeah, that we'll Shredder be... was crazy. That Shredder was crazy. But if he were to fight Draken, I'm pretty sure Draken would just kill him. Well, Draken would just kill everyone, and we know that. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter who you are, Draken will get you. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's it for this one, and then we'll be doing more videos for the rest of them, so stay tuned.